Hey hi everyone I am Manohar welcome to the Pharma Mind dose of education and the research uh, this is the last lecture of the suppository series the previous lecture we had discussed uh, the introduction of the suppositories base of the suppositories preparation method of the suppositories and today so we had to learn the discuss about the displacement value and the evolutions of the suppositories this is a summary index of the today's lecture uh, there are the two points displacement value and the evolutions we had uh, discussed in the step by step the definitions of the displacement value the quantity of the drugs which displace one part of the base is known as the displacement value a number of the doses form such as the suppositories lozenges and the tablet tincture are the prepared by the molding uh, these doses forms are the formulated on the weight basis but the molds filling uh, is a base on the capacity of the cavity the using uh, particularly molds although the volume of the base remain the same the weight of the obtained the suppositories varies with the type of the bases due to the presence of the drugs uh, according to their the specific gravity uh the displacement value is defined as the weight of the medicament uh, that the displaces one part of the base uh, example the displacement value of the zinc oxide is re- relation uh, to the coca butter is a 5 it means the 5 g of the zinc oxide displaced the 1 g of the coca butter it indicate that the zinc oxide is a heavy in that the turn of the occupy smaller value the second one is a calculation of the working formula using the displacement value there is a distributed drug and displacement value alum ampinophilin aspirin bismuth subgalate boric acid iodoform estamol resorcinol zinc oxide and zinc sulfates how to calculate and how to determination of the displacement value of the suppositories uh, for example the determination of the displacement value of the medicament in the thermal bromo oil the suppositories contain the 40% of the medicament the prepared in 1 g mold uh, the weight of the 10 suppositories is 14.66 g one suppositories contain 40% of the medicament as they calculate that uh, the 10 suppositories which value obtained as uh, 14.66 g the solution weight of the 10 g of the suppositories count the thermal bromo oil along the prepared in 1 g capacity mold 1 into 10 is equal to 10 g second the weight of the suppositories count the 40% of the medicament is equal to 14.66 g third is amount of the thermal bromo oil present uh, 60 by uh, 100 into the 40.66 is equal to 8.79 g fourth is amount of the medicament present in the 40% uh, divided by 100 into the 40.66 is equal to 5.86 g the fifth is amount of the thermal bromo oil the displaced by the 5.86 g of the medicament is equal to 10 minus 8.79 is equal to 1.20 g This is the displacement value of the medicament. 8.86 is the amount of the 40% of the medicament uh, as per the 10 of the suppositories, and the divided by 1.20 is the total amount of the thermal bromo oil uh, is equal to 5. This is the displacement value of the medicament is equal to 5. the evolution of the suppositories the literature will the documented with the tested the method are the assured that is the manufactured lot uh, of the suppositories consistency meets that the standards established during the manufacturing or the early experiment lots the finished suppositories suppositories are the rotatively inspected for this the uh, five method namely as the melting rate test softening time test breaking test disintegration and dissolution test and uniformity count and weight this is the evolutions of the suppositories first melting range test this test is also called as the micro melting range test and the its measure of the time it taken for the entire suppositories to the melt when the immersed in a constant temperature as the 30 uh, 70 degree celsius water bath it contain the micro milling range the test is the melting range measured in the capillary tube uh, that uh, fat base only this suppositories melting the point apparatus by the irveka uh, consist of the uh, graduated tube like the glass test chamber this sample uh, to be tested the placed into the uh, spherical shaped glass test uh, basket inside into the test chamber which itself the surrounded by the water jacket heated uh, by the circulation uh, thermostat uh, this time for the entire suppository to the melt the disappear in the uh, surrounding water is measured the second method is the softening time test uh, this test performed on the specially rectal suppositories 
uh, to determine the softening time uh, of the suppositories. During this the test of the glass rod the placed into the suppositories held, you took of the apparatus, immobilized uh, in the constant temperature water bath. Uh, the time taken for the rods the passage through the suppositories is the recorded. Uh, this can be carried out the various temperature from the 35.5 to 30 degrees Celsius as the quality control check uh, and can be the studies as the measure of the physical stability over time. The water bath of the both uh, cooling uh, and the heating element should be used as uh, the assured the control within the uh, 0.1 degree Celsius. The third one is a uh, breaking test. The brittleness of the suppositories is a problem for the which various solutions having the already been described. The breaking test is designed as the method of the measuring the uh, fiability of the brittleness of the suppositories. The apparatus used for the test consists of the double wall chamber in which the uh, test of the suppositories in the place the, the water at the uh, 37 degrees Celsius pumped through the double wall uh, of the chamber and the suppositories contained uh, uh, in a dry inner chamber the su supports of the disc which is the rod is attached uh, the other end uh, of the rod consists of the another disc to which the weighted uh, are the applied the test is conducted by the placed in the 600 onto the uh, platform uh, at the one minute interval the 200 gram of the weighted are the added uh, and the weight uh, at the which the supposed test collapse is the breaking point uh, or the first of the determination uh, determined uh, means the fiability bitterness are the characteristics of the supposed test the fourth one is disintegration and dissolution test the testing for the rate of the in vitro release of the drug substances from the suppositories has always posed of the difficult problem owing to the melting, deformations, dispersion in the dissolution medium. Uh, early the testing was carried out by the simple placement uh, in a beaker uh, containing media in order effort to control the variations of the mass media, uh, media interval, various means have been uh, employed including the wire mesh basket or the member to the, uh, separated to the sample chamber from to the reservoir. The uniformity of the content it indicates the uniform drug content into the suppositories. This test should be carried out the only after the content of the drugs is the pooled sample of the suppositories has been uh, the limited and the uh, applicated to suppositories contain less than the 10 gram or the less than 10% of the drugs. So okay now the suppositories series has been ended. If uh, still have any questions ask me in comment box. A link of the every subtopics of the suppositories has been uh, attached in the description box. Uh, see you soon the, with the next video. Uh, Tills do like, share, comment and subscribe our channel uh, and click the bell icon to get more videos. Uh, then keep studying, stay with Pharma Mind, dose of education and research.